little bill. Honey, what's popping? Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. Because I miss your fine ass. Listen, I said, 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 I heard it was a Scorpio birthday. I said, I said, I heard it was a Scorpio's motherfucking birthday. Even the sun came out to shine on the kid. It's a, it's a Scorpio birthday. Some of y'all need to get some sun. You hear what I'm saying? Listen, listen, listen. Happy birthday to my Scorpio B.O.'s. Happy birthday to my Scorpio B.O.'s. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday. Fine ass Scorpio B.O.'s. It's your birthday. Fine ass Scorpio's. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday to you. Happy birthday to you Scorpios honey did you miss me hmm. Scorpios listen are y'all accepting the fact that you're gonna have to leave something the fuck behind at this time are you looking at something a little different some of y'all got a bitches playing with y'all on the internet hmm. Hmm. somebody playing with you through an app hmm. Hmm. Listen, hey, boo, hey, if this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on how the hell these cars motherfucking falling. But listen, I'm a cuss, all right? If you don't like cussing, please feel free right down now to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can furtherly assist you without cussing, because this is my shit. This is how we do it, sha la 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 okay? This is my shit, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, you guys, the reading requests. Thank you so much from the most humblest space ever. Thank you very much, okay? Also, you guys, um, take what resonates. Leave the rest. If that fucking shoe is too big, your ass gonna fall, all right? So don't be trying to put on no motherfucking shoe, bitch, that don't fit you, bitch. You hear what I'm saying? Period, okay? So, Scorpio, listen. Um, this will resonate for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, okay? And the North Node or anywhere in your chart in which you have Scorpio, baby. That this resonates with your ass, all right? But listen, let's jump right on into it because this reading can't be too long because my phone is gonna die. Okay, so let's jump into it. I have a little bit of time. I maybe I got, I probably got about 20, 25 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Scorpio, listen, I heard public humiliation. Okay, so either someone, either someone's trying to publicly humiliate you or your brand is what I'm hearing. Okay, or this is also sabotaging the execution date or some sabotaging, you, sabotaging your ability to execute something or get something done. Okay, for some of you all, this is actually happening to push your ass out of your damn comfort zone and push you beyond your limitations. Because for some of y'all, Scorpio, you've been sleeping on your motherfucking self. Some of y'all been sleeping on yourself. Okay. Spirit is tied to your shit, all right? For some of you all, I'm literally hearing connectivity, okay? So for some of you all, this could also be some type of insecurity uh, regarding maybe like not being able to fully connect to your guides or feeling disconnected to source or disconnected to your guides, okay? I'm also hearing something significant to an outer body experience, okay? This could also be like astral traveling or something that's taking place within the astral realm, okay? Some of y'all could also be researching and kind of like... um binge watching putting the pieces together when it comes to the astro world event with travis scott okay for some of you all also i am picking up on mediumship some of you all are mediums oh some of y'all could be connecting to the spirits or I'm, I'm hearing uh i'm hearing unresolved okay unresolved business unresolved karma unresolved so for some of you all some of y'all could be connecting with like celebrities that's cross over to the other side or that could be in the space of limbo okay I'm also hearing from my mediums, be very careful. Some of y'all are learning how to discern or there's a need for you to trust your intuition as it pertains to discerning what spirits and what you're dealing with, okay? Some of y'all got some paranormal activity going on in your home. I heard it's a grandfather, especially if you lost your grandfather in the last six months. I am hearing something regarding a grandfather or a father figure, okay? This person could have smoked cigarettes. I'm also hearing, uh, so this person could have had a very raspy voice. Whoever this is for, you could be from up north, okay? For some of you all, I'm also hearing West Coast. I'm hearing symbolisms, okay? So some of you guys could be looking into like various, um, um, like ancient symbology, okay? Or this could even be some type of like um, ancient comedic science, all right? I'm hearing infinite genius, infinite intelligence, all right? Some of you all could also be really tapping very heavily into the frequency of like, uh, into the frequency of infinite abundance, or you're being aligned with the frequency of in, uh, infinite abundance. I'm hearing Archangel Metatron. Some of you guys could be working very heavily with Archangel Metatron, or there's a need to.
Okay, so for Scorpio, I'm hearing something regarding um, dysmorphia, dysmorphic, okay, the way that you see yourself, all right? Some of you all, you could have been dealing with a family situation. You could be walking away from a family situation or just some type of like repetitive cycle with someone in particular. For some of you all, this could have to do with family or separating yourself from family and you're able to see like the sun again or you're able to see the sunshine again, all right? I'm hearing... um. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness turns to day. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And this house just ain't no home. Anytime she goes away. Okay, so Scorpio, some of y'all, somebody feels like ain't the fucking bitch, the sun don't shine without you. You are somebody's moon and they motherfucking stars and the sun. Someone now realizes they're learning how they learn through loss how to appreciate you. For some of you all, you're learning how to appreciate something or vice versa through loss, okay? I'm also hearing manifesting from a space of gratitude. And I'm also hearing uh, Scorpio, for some of you all, you could actually be getting into the um getting into the practice or studying something regarding alchemy, okay? I'm also hearing something having to do with like principality, okay? Principalities, moralities. This could also have to do with some type of institution or some type of payout that is being ordered to like some of y'all having somebody some of y'all don't know behind the scenes someone's being ordered to pay you, okay? I'm hearing retroactive, so this could definitely have something to do with the child, all right? Some of you all, someone's faking it until they motherfucking make it because they are scared. Of, somebody is scared of child support. You hear what I'm saying? I'm hearing someone successful. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone in the public eye. You could also be in the public eye. I'm hearing something regarding gang stalking. But these is bitches that you know. Yes, familiar bitches. Okay. I'm hearing it's going to surprise you or something is being revealed to you in the astral plane, okay? So for some of you all, I'm hearing as above, so below. Again, being pushed out of your comfort zone. Also, I'm hearing disconnecting from particular ideologies or principles or some type of like um, religious constraints, okay? So some of y'all could actually be like dancing with the damn devil as it pertains to your views regarding religion and spirituality. For some of you all, this could have to do with the family influence, which could make sense of why I see you guys like separating yourself from family. Family. Some of y'all feel as if people only come around when they need something. And some of y'all is like really weighing up the motherfucking pros and the cons, bitch. Why it don't add up, bitch? Why when I need you, you ain't here, okay? But when you need me, bitch, you know how to blow me up. You know how to find me. Your motherfucking Instagram, Facebook, motherfucking DMs, PMs, motherfucking TikToks, they work. Why can't you show me that same damn effort when I need you? Why can't you put in that same energy? Got that real big energy. Uh, energy, okay? Some of you all are really focused on protecting your energy, okay? I'm also hearing expanding within your consciousness and your awareness. Some of you all, I'm also hearing something regarding reading books. Some of y'all could be going into this space of like um, detaching from like detaching from the uh, okay so I'm hearing detaching from like uh, technology so some of y'all could actually be like fasting from your phones, or social media. Really strengthening your connection to spirit. Really strengthening your connection to source. And really getting in tune. And really mastering the art of trusting your damn self, Scorpio. Okay? For some of you all, I'm literally... I'm hearing clairvoyance, clairaudience. Okay? The inheritance of spiritual gifts. I'm also hearing something regarding indigenous bloodline. I'm also hearing something regarding Haitian. Um, some of you all could be of a, a, of a, a, of a Haitian lineage. Okay? Or an indigenous lineage. I'm also hearing something regarding connecting with the practices of that lineage. Or the practices. So this could also have to do with like really tapping into your roots. I'm also hearing root work, shamanism. I'm hearing awakening, awakening perception, awakening thoughts. Again, as above, so below, pulling from the astral realm. I'm hearing ancient being, okay? So for some of you all, Scorpio, some of y'all is really getting, or some of y'all is tapping into your past lives through your dream space. I'm also hearing something regarding dream interpretation could be of significance. Some of y'all could have Libra in your chart or is having a hard time cutting a damn cord from a Libra. Like someone's astrally stalking or astrally invading your space, Okay. Okay, so some of y'all could be listening to Summer Walker's new album a whole lot. I'm hearing, um, uh -huh. bitter, mad at me, mad at my nigga, mad at the fact he ain't with you, mad at the fact that it's me, but this here bigger than me and you alone. So why you putting on for the shade room and Insta? 
Bitches just be looking for attention. Okay, so I don't want to write to that song, but listen. Um, some of y'all could be listening to Summer by Bitter Walker, okay? I'm also hearing X for a reason. So some of y'all could definitely be jamming. Some of y'all could be banging that motherfucking summer, okay? Some of y'all, this could be involving someone's child's mother, especially if you're dealing with a water sign. I'm strongly hearing Pisces. I'm also hearing something significant to Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm also hearing some of you guys looking into uh, behavior, uh, be, uh, behavioral disorders or um, multiple personality. Some of y'all is dealing with somebody who suffer from like multiple personality disorders. Like some of y'all don't know who the fuck you waking up to. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay. I'm also hearing stand for the children or making it work for the children. When I'm, I'm hearing you're supposed to be doing shadow work or some of you all, the discomfort that you feel in a particular relationship with someone that you have children with is because you're repeating a cycle that actually caused you trauma growing the fuck up. I'm hearing narcissistic mother or acknowledging something having to do with the behavioral, um, some type of like um, codependent behavioral um behavior okay codependent codependent behavioral ways of uh, of a mother figure a maternal figure i'm hearing learned behavior okay some of y'all could be dealing with like maternal interference so this could be your mother disapproving of your relationship or somebody else's mama putting their goddamn two two cents in in a motherfucking bank that didn't want it bitch i didn't want your two cents bitch this is motherfucking big cash only, bitch. We don't take two cents over here, all right? I'm definitely picking up on this energy of, like, someone trying to judge you for your beliefs or judge you for the way that you perceive things. Or I'm also hearing something having to do with making something work or making... Okay. Someone trying to make you feel guilty for making something work with a family member. Scorpio, I'm hearing so you got over it, but this person's still mad, all right? Some of y'all could be dealing with a fixed sign. Um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio like yourself, all right? If you are dealing with the fixed sign, there could also be, like, issues when it comes to, like, reciprocation or, like, things being equally balanced. I feel like somebody feel like they're supposed to go to work, go out and get money, and the rest of that shit is on you. That's what the fuck you're supposed to do as the feminine. I'm also hearing something regarding nurturing, nurturing the divine feminine or nurturing your feminine is going to be very significant right now. It's assisting you with um, really being one with your yin energy in order to attract and create. OK, I'm hearing move in silence, Scorpio. Don't even tell your motherfucking kids move in silence, especially if you have adult children. All right, let's get into it. All right. So spirit, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Metatron, Mehasiah. Please come forth and assist me with being the vessel of love, light, divine wisdom, and truth for the sign of Scorpio. What are they needing to hear at this time? Some of y'all also, I'm hearing that someone, your ancestors could have been trying to warn you regarding someone like stealing, um, like like um, spiritually stealing from you. This could have to do with like your destiny or attempting to. I'm hearing the weapons will form, but they will not prosper, Scorpio. This could be someone trying to swap destinies with you. This could also be someone who actually introduced you to divination, okay, or the occult, or if some of you all could have cut somebody off who was into that. I feel like someone's practicing the practicing they fucking magic on your ass, Scorpio, okay? For whoever this is, someone, some of y'all, some of y'all could also find out in the astral realm that you have a feminine figure, an aunt or a mother or a mother-in-law that's been attacking your finances, okay? This person is obsessed with your child because your child is very prophetic. Your child is a star seed, the light. Some of you all who are pregnant could also be hiding a pregnancy, okay? Or you're dealing with someone who's hiding a pregnancy. I'm also hearing beware of uh, beware of reconciling with the fire sign. Beware of reconciling with the air sign. Somebody has somebody has untreated herpes. Untreated. Somebody scared to go to the doctor. Before reconciling with somebody, have that uncomfortable, comfortably ass, look, that uncomfortable, comfortable motherfucking conversation. Listen, we grown. If I can't ask you if you motherfucking okay down there, me and you can't fuck, we just, we just don't jail, baby. Okay. Okay. So you guys got a Nandalite. This is pretty. You know, I don't chop and screw the messages. Okay. So 707-711-7177777 completions. Okay. This could also have to do with some type of soul contract, spiritual con uh, contract. I'm also hearing concept of what God is, okay? I'm hearing bio-spiritual, bio-spiritual being. Some of you all could be listening to a lot of docu uh, documentaries at this time. I'm also hearing something regarding, um, hmm. I'm hearing life and death. Some of you all could be researching various luau. Some of you all are needing to like keep up your damn offerings. Whoever it is that you've been working with, this person feeling or this spirit is feeling very neglected. Okay. 
especially if this is a feminine or a water deity, okay? Ooh, baby, especially if this is La Serene, baby, y'all better, whoo, whoo. Some of y'all could be attracted very heavily to mermaids at this time. <clears throat> Unicorns, Pegasus, a bunch of magical things, okay? I'm also seeing someone obsessed with the movie You. Or the movie You could be of significance as it pertains to um, someone's motherfucking obsession with You. I'm hearing a water sign and a fire sign. Some of y'all have a Leo with this. I'm also hearing death threats, okay? Someone could be making death threats. I'm hearing mentally unstable. Some of y'all may have to get a restraining order against somebody who you used to deal with. And I'm picking up on, like, for some of y'all, this is somebody who you could have cut off maybe, like, two years ago. This could even be somebody who you cut off at the beginning of 2020. I'm hearing fatal attraction, okay? Bitch. Scorpios. Woo! That pressure. 25. All right, I opened this damn book and Selenite was here. Some of y'all could actually be um, needing help with connecting with the... I'm hearing, I'm hearing divine light, Okay? For some of you all, this is also the need for you to release the the release the release the need to know the outcome of something. I heard twists and turns, plot twists, and I also heard faded meetings. Okay, destiny. Twenty five, bitch. Anandalite. Cosmic consciousness. Anandalite gently facilitates integration and releases emo emotional blockages standing in the way of a spiritual awakening. It reminds us that consciousness is omniscient and omnipresent, seeing all, knowing all. Immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live in a completely different dimension of, the, of consciousness. Recognize that you previously operated within a narrow band of awareness. Attune to flashes of divine light, bitch. That was that selenite. And tune, attune to flashes of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away. Embrace unity. You are here to experience cosmic consciousness. Transform goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight right now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. New light is infused when you transform your awareness. Humanity experiences a quantum shift. Enlightenment can happen right now. You are a part of everything and everything is a part of you. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high, good for the soul star stellar gateway and cleanses and activates all chakras. Also good for the present moment and those with the soul path of becoming a vessel for cosmic consciousness. For some of you all, you could literally be spiritualists, okay? Some of you all are, all, okay, so I'm hearing some of you all are being called to disconnect in order to connect. It's like you can't do both, okay? It's, 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 giving, me the, it's giving me the concept of... Um, this world is not my home. I'm in the world, but not of it. Okay. Again, a lot of, oh, a, a lot of astral. Okay. A lot of astral revelations. I'm also hearing something regarding a uh, dimensional traveling. All right. Astral traveling for some of you all, you're needing to protect your children because your children are traveling too far in the astral realm. Okay. So let's pull a, I'm gonna pull an angel message at the end. Let's pull. Oh, girl, baby, look at this time, honey. Let's pull <laughs> an intuitive message of a two or three for my Scorpios. Scorpios, Scorpios. Some of you all are, I'm hearing, um, be very cautious or aware of like emotional spending, okay? I'm hearing um, checks and balances, okay? So for some of you all, it's like some of you all, you're making these plans, but your actions are not aligning with what the fuck you said, all right? You just be talking. What were you telling them? Some of you all are spiritual teachers, okay? If those, for those of you who are waiting on, uh, waiting to hear back from some type of application as it pertains to moving or some type of contract for a home, I am hearing the first week of December, okay? So fret not, Scorpio, okay? Fret not. Some of y'all also are being called to like. Um, I'm also hearing something regarding like where you are. Some of y'all are thinking about moving completely out of the st out the state. Some of y'all could also be in the uh, in the distribution business, or I'm also hearing something regarding foreman. So this could actually be agriculture or <laughs> that good fayaya. You hear what I'm saying? Some y'all, some of y'all is investing in that good fayaya. Shoot me an email. You did. Some of y'all also could be dealing with a water sign, or could have some type of um some type of uh, karmic contract with the water sign who you have a child with, all right? I am hearing divine intervention with this. For some of you all, uh, you could be hearing that somebody could have recently lost their mother. My condolences to you, baby. I send you so much love, light, healing, and restoration, baby, okay? I'm sorry for your loss. Ooh, that was heavy. 
Yeah, telepathic connection. So some of you all could have a telepathic connection with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius matters not the sign. Some of you all are connecting with someone. I'm also hearing um, tuning into the music or messages in the music. Okay, someone sending you telepathic um, or songs telepathically. All right. Bitch child support, all right? So some of y'all, this could also be someone who you have children with as well, all right? Again, didn't I tell you, be be, be cautious if somebody want their motherfucking family back because somebody's doing something behind the scenes. And if, they, if they're with you, depending on where you are, they don't have to pay child support. But some of y'all finna get an unexpected blessing as it pertains to retroactive child support or something that you don't see coming, all right? Yeah, some of y'all got an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Either you miss this person's energy, energy or they miss your energy. Again, bitch, spirit emphasizes again, Scorpio. Move in silence, all right? Especially especially whatever it is that you're... Especially as it pertains to, like, planting your seeds, okay? Or, or waiting for something to patiently turn around. Or, or, or being able to see the fruits of your labor or something come into harvest, okay? Yeah. For those of you who have your own business, you're getting ready to experience an influx. I'm hearing something, some type of way, some type of way of being, some type of, um, something having to do with playing it safe is being in eclipsed out, all right? Some of y'all is dealing with a fucking fire sign. They're a liar. Something's getting ready to be exposed regarding someone's whereabouts is what I'm hearing. What was you telling them? What was you telling me? What was you telling them? And what was you telling me, Right? Some of y'all getting ready to uh, find out that some of y'all been dealing with somebody who's been playing both sides. I'm also picking up on this energy where someone's mother is constantly in your damn business because this person, some of y'all gonna find out that somebody been like secretly getting money from a mother figure, but in order to get this money, it's like they gotta fucking join the bitter bitches club. Some of y'all got a dude that act like a straight up bitch. They gossip with their mama and, uh, and, uh, and this could be a sister figure or a cousin, but I feel like they manipulate these people in order to get what the fuck they want by throwing you under the bus, Scorpio. Okay? Someone knows too much of your motherfucking business. Some of y'all may have to check somebody's fucking family member at the fucking turkey, at the turkey day feast. You hear what I'm saying? All right, so let's pull for love. We're going to pull two of these. I've been noticing. I love these cards, but I've been noticing everybody on YouTube fucking using them, and I, and I don't like that. All right, let's get into it. Some of y'all could also be fashion designers, clothing designers, okay? Shoe designers. I'm hearing something regarding customized clothing. All right. Yeah. Wedding rings, union, wedding, marry, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. OK. Um, OK. You also got mirror mirroring each other. Self image. OK. Self image relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. OK. Keys on a ring. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. One night stand. I feel like as it pertains to something having to do with children or someone who you have children with, someone could actually, someone's intention is, is to be with you for the long haul, but it's the way that they fucking go about it. It's real fucking manipulative. Some of y'all gonna have to fucking show your ass in order to get what you want. All right. Some of y'all gonna have to show your ass to get what you want. And for some of you all, I'm hearing a great man once said nothing at all. So for some of y'all, this is showing your ass simply by saying nothing. Especially if you're dealing with a fucking covert narcissist, because I'm hearing some of y'all could be dealing with a covert narcissist. Someone lacks accountability or they don't want, they see all of your fucked up ways, but they, they don't, they, bitch, they Ray Charles to their own shit. All right. <clears throat> Keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Okay, check someone's motherfucking intentions at the door as it pertains to a reconciliation. I feel like someone could be coming in promising you marriage, promising you eternal love, everlasting. Pr this person is trying to make sure your ass don't move forward and attach themselves to the blessing that God has for you, Scorpio. Okay. For some of you all who are literally in a, in a committed relationship, I do pick up on someone's relationship going to the next level, but I feel like some of you all, some of y'all are needing to whoever is experiencing that. Congratulations, my baby. But I feel like someone needs to get on the same page because I feel like some of y'all is dealing with a situation where someone's living in the, in, in the past or projecting past emotions. Uh, from past traumas into their present situation and it's coming it's coming off as a form of like defensiveness you get what i'm saying or someone feeling the need to defend themselves all the goddamn time mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection some of y'all is having some type of intro introspection and realizing or being becoming aware of the fact that you've been trauma bonding with some damn body all right Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling, bitch, stop sleeping on you. You got the winning hand, Scorpio. The ball falls in the motherfucking court, you say it do. Just don't try and control it. That'll make sense later. When you already destined to win, what you working so damn hard for? You magical as fuck. 
You my soul family, the fuck? Huh? Huh? Shit. Mars, okay? So this could also have to do with the Mars and the water energy again. This could also have to do with you balancing out, you balancing out your yin and your yang um within yourself, but I'm also hearing something having to do with union. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Scorpio or an Aries. I'm also hearing the war of the baby daddies. What? Some of y'all, somebody's going to make a surprise offer to you. This person could be another fire, could be a fire sign. Some of y'all, this person is an air sign. Or you could be surprising a fire or an air sign with expressing yourself, expressing your feelings. All right, give me an angel message for my Scorpios. Counselor, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Some of you all could be stepping in the role of being a spiritual teacher. You're being led by higher forces, okay, or by higher beings, all right? I'm also hearing something having to do with, I'm hearing telepathy, okay? Again, mediumship. For some of you all, you're stepping into the role of um, a healer, or some of you all are wanting to learn more about your abilities in order to heal, or your abilities, or this could also be areas in which you need to hear. I'm hearing, uh, in which you need to heal. I'm hearing your traumas is your, okay, your power lies within your trauma. This feels like unresolved trauma, but whatever this is, for some of you all, you could be family counselors, okay? Some of y'all have a life purpose around working with children. This could be children that has been through, like, traumatic situations. I'm hearing something regarding sexual assault. Like, turning your pain into power, okay? I'm also hearing healing hands. Some of y'all could be um, energetic healers. Some of y'all could also be doing some type of massage therapy. I'm also seeing something regarding um like a mobile cos like a mobile a mobile cosmetologist, also a mobile nail tech. Yeah, crystal clear intentions. Check their motherfucking intentions at the door, Scorpio. Archangel Michael. Be clear about what you desire and focus on it with unwavering faith. Instead of focusing on what is not going right, focusing on what the fuck ain't fucking lining up, focus on the things in which you do have. Focus on the present moment. Because I'm hearing some of y'all are really working on... Spirit is helping you to work on staying in the present because the past is sad and the future is stressing you the fuck out. All right? Some of y'all could be dealing with the Gemini. All right? Some of y'all, again, this is, again, balancing the dualities within self, all right? That yin and that yang and knowing how to execute and with what energy in which you're trying to, like, what, what energy, pretty much what energy are you trying to use or what energy are you needing to tap into in order to bring something into the proper fruition? I'm hearing proper planning, strategizing, creating a plan. Some of y'all, I'm also hearing somebody's biggest fear is to come home to an empty house. <laughs> Shit, Scorpio. <laughs> cut though i'm hearing capricorn if you did this to a capricorn bitch they still mad okay well, so let me pull some astrological placement see who scorpio is dealing with let's get the hell up out of here scorpio i pray y'all had a beautiful and happy ass birthday the child was lit lit you guys got aquarius taurus moon this could be your placement of the per of the, uh, the placement of the person in which you're dealing with you guys got aries moon Capricorn, Pisces. All right, let me do this. Okay. All right. Cancer Moon. Oof. Capricorn Rising. I almost dropped that damn thing. I'm pulling two more Scorpio because it's your birthday. <laughs> Aries. Cancer. Whoa. Oh, shit. Libra. Aquarius moon. Aries rising. Taurus. They told me pull one more. It's going to be our Gemini moon. Okay? So, you guys let me know how that resonates in the motherfucking comments. Okay? In the comment section. Hit me up. Let me know. How... how, how whose tea is this okay until then you guys i'm sending you guys peace and love all right also big motherfucking money bag energies okay you guys i'll pray that you have a beautiful and prosperous ass motherfucking eclipse season and beyond okay and i will see you guys next time happy birthday babes <laughs>